welcome to pariksha and in this video we will learn about some important concepts of geography so all the points that have been included in this pdf are most important points and that i have extracted from a, a lucent book as well as uh, i have taken them from the faq previous year question books so these all questions have come somewhere and some surrounding other papers और ये सारे ही क्वेश्चन बहुत ही ज़्यादा जरूरी हैं तो दिस ऑल शुड बी ऑन द टिप ऑफ यू लाइक वेन एवर यू आर रिवाइजिंग यू शुड रीड रिवाइज एंड ट्राई टू लाइक पूरा कवर करने का कोशिश करें सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद वीडियो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम सो जियो मॉर्फोलॉजी इज अ स्टडी ऑफ लैंड फॉर्म्स एंड इवोल्यूशन एंड क्लाइमेटोलॉजी Climatology is a study of structure of atmosphere and elements of weather. Uh, population and settlement geography. It studies population growth, distribution, and sex ratio, etc. Now let's come to origin of Earth. So origin of Earth has been defined in theory given by Edwin Hubble in 1920. According to him, around uh, 13.7 billion years ago an event uh, of big bang in which uh, a glass galaxy blasted and earth uh, our solar system has formed through so that event which took place around 13.7 billion year ago now if we come to our solar system so our solar system has eight planets and around 290 moons inner planets are called terrestrial planets that is earth like which are made up of rocks and metal and outer planets are zovian planets that are made up of gases and in between there lies lies an asteroid belt and most of the asteroid in our solar system are supposed to like are found are come from this belt only now what is kuiper region so kuiper belt uh, or kuiper region is a region of solar system that exists beyond the eight this may reason exist beyond our solar system now if we talk about some planets so venus are co is considered as hottest planets of solar system and it rotates opposite to the direction of earth so this point it should be like remembered that it rotates opposite to the direction of earth now earth earth is considered and said to be a densest planet of our solar system and it is the largest planet among the inner planets Mars Mars is uh, like last and the coldest among inner planets Mars is the last planet of inner planets Jupiter Jupiter is the biggest planet of solar system and it has the shortest day of any planet like in our solar system Jupiter has the shortest day and as of data available till 23 March 2023 Jupiter has 95 moons and biggest moon of our solar system is Ganymede and brightest star of our solar system is dog star now let's talk about planets and their uh, alternative names and the number of moons that they have so mercury also called as swift planet mercury ko swift planet bhi bolte hain aur usme ji koi bhi moon nahi hai mercury ke paas and then venus venus is also called as yellow and uh, or brightest planet or morning star or evening star and it also has zero planet uh, zero moons sorry and earth earth is uh, like uh, called as blue planet and it has one moon mars mars is also known as reddish brown or red planet and it has two moons jupiter jupiter it is uh, it has uh, orange and white bands around it and uh, jupiter has 95 moons saturn saturn has the most number of means moons in our solar system it has 145 moons and uh, uranus so uranus is a blue green planet and it has 27 moons neptune neptune has 14 moons and pluto considered to be a dwarf planet now has 5 moons now let's come to some studies so seismology seismology works in like it helps out in work out the dimension of inner and outer core of earth and planet igneous rock so igneous rock what are igneous rock so igneous rock are volcanic rocks that cooled on surface so these rocks are made up of 
volcanic lava, lava that has come to the surface of earth and cooled there plutonic rock they hasn't come to the surface of the earth they just uh, uh, lied uh, somewhere in the crust and uh, cool down cool their side and these are uh, like uh, found when we dig up the like uh, surface batholith batholith are also volcanic uh, rock but these are large body of magmatic material that cools cools in deeper depth of the crust so they as the crust is uh, like plutonic uh, uh, cools on the crust not very much deep but in uh, batholiths they are cooled uh, down on the deeper depth now what is ist so ist is an indian standard time which is introduced on september 1 1947 the state is to be remembered now latitude 23.21 degree so it is pronounced as 23 degree 21 minute north is called as tropic of cancer sometimes it is called as 23.5 degree but if we go to exact value then it is 23 degree 21 minute and so it is called as tropic of cancer it is an area where sun is directly overhead in june solar cities and in india tropic of cancer gujarat rajasthan madhya pradesh chatisgarh jharkhand west bengal tripura now latitude 23 degree 21 minute also called as 23.5 degree south it is considered as uh, it is called as tropic of capricorn so it is an area where sun is directly overhead in december solitis solicitis remember one thing in uh, cancer it is a uh, uh, june solicitis and in uh, latitude capricorn it is december solicitis zero degree a uh, longitude is called as prime meridian and in green which meridian so this is zero degree prime meridian like uh, this red line in this figure if it is visible this one this red line and uh, point at the extreme uh, north is called as 90 degree north and for point at the extreme top here is south pole so north pole and south pole the this is the equator which it divides the earth into equal parts and Uh, this is the prime meridian from where the angle measurement of the earth starts it's like uh, rotates from west to east so it's come from here then goes there like this then uh, at the 66.34 degree north it's arctic circle and at the same degree south it is antarctic circle that is 66 degree and 34 south and as i told 23 degree 216 21th south is a, a tropic of capricorn and at the same level it is tropic of cancer uh, latitudes are the uh, lines that are uh, horizontal and uh, longitudes are line that are vertical now what are perihelion and aphelion so you must have heard about this so this is are also important so perihelion earth is closest to sun it occurs two weeks after december solstice that is 21 december and at aphelion earth is farthest from sun it occurs two weeks after june solstice that is 21 june perihelion date is june january 3 or 4 and aphelion date is july 5 or 6 just two week after uh, these dates equinox is an event in which planet sub solar point passes through equator it is the only time when both northern and southern equal amount of day time and night time it happens two times in a year that is march 21 which is called as vernal spring and september 22 which is called as autumnal or fall spring so you also remember this thing eclipse now eclipse there are three kind of eclipse umbra in umbra moon completely covers the sun so in the umbra the moon's distance from earth is far so when it comes in front of sun it just completely covers it so it gets black and it is called as umbra and autumbra in this moon is completely in front so in autumbra moon is completely in front but is not that far from the earth so it is it is not able to cover the uh Uh, sun properly so so in autumn 
moon is completely in front of sun but too small to cover it and now penumbra in this moon is partially in front of sun so moon is partly partially in front of sun but covers some area of that so during lunar eclipse either we experience umbra or penumbra so these are again the same things that have i have told earlier and uh, these dates should be remembered thank you have a nice day